So let us study in detail each microsporophyll. Suppose this single microsporophyll, you take it out and we want to study this each single microsporophyll, okay? The microsporophyll, they are just equivalent to the stamen of the angiospermous flowers. Each microsporophyll, as you can see, they arise at right angle, right? Here you can see in this figure, they arise at right angle to the central axis of the male cone right angle 90 degree right so this microsporophyll is usually small brown in color scaly and also triangular structure it is somewhat triangular in structure and if you take a look at the single microsporophyll here you can see that the microsporophyll they are differentiated into the basal short stalk here this is the stalk and it is very short, okay? It is attached to the cone axis through this short stalk. And uh, the middle portion here, which is expanded, okay? The expanded middle portion and the upper sterile part here is known as the apophysis, okay? Just like in the case of cycus also, we can see this upper part here termed as the op apophysis and it is sterile meaning it, it bears no microspore in it so the middle expanded portion here is is fertile okay and it bears two elongated sac like microsporangia you can see these two here these two which is attached in this middle portion these are nothing but they are the microsporangia on the lower side you can see this here in the figure b this is the upper side this is considered as the lower side so you can see on the lower side two microsporangia and inside the microsporangia these microspore or the pollen grains will form you can see a single microsporangium here you can see in this figure in this uh, figure c that is the transverse section of the microsporophyll through the microsporangium, you can see the presence of the pollen grains.